posh colonies of South Kolkata would look like just another lane, flanked with gigantic mansions of modern British architecture that have borne the passage of time. But as you walk through the lanes of Bishop Lefroy Road, a pale yellow mansion with its newly painted grandeur will catch your eye. Spanning across a breadth of 150 meters, this complex is magnificent. Unknown to many, right towards the end of this colonial beauty is the home of one of the best filmmakers of his century, Satyajit Ray, who sought permanent residence here in 1970. But the colony with its bountiful greenery was not as alluring to the Oscar-winning artist. Believing the Bishop Lefroy Road to be a Shahipara or white town, he feared that it might interfere with his ideas which were grounded and all the westernized, quite Bengali in its approach. Namaskar, I am Anushka Mukherjee, a third year undergraduate design student from the Indian Institute of Crafts and Design. For the longest time, even I believe, this Satyaji Ray is a phenomenal filmmaker. But after coming to a design institute, I discovered what a great graphic designer he is. So it only felt justified to document the Bishop Lefroy Road and to bring forward the stories of a tangible heritage that has held on to the intangible memories of a great man. An astounding filmmaker and a master storyteller, his films are a rare blend of intellect and emotions where his cinematic heritage belongs as much to India as to the world. He once iterated, when I write my own story, I use characters and milieus I'm familiar with. I can deal with something I do not know at first hand only with the help of someone who does, like Bibhuti Bhushan's village, Tara Shankar's world of zamindars or landlords, and Tagore's Renaissance Bengal. But how can one talk about his films without talking about his music? Known to shut himself in his study completely after his final edit, he composed Indian and Western scores, keeping his musicians in mind. This controlled, precise and meticulous manner has earned him a plethora of awards, most notably the Academy Award for Lifetime Achievement in 1992 and an honorary doctorate by Oxford in 1978. Much like the other mansions on the Bishop Lefroy Road, the complex flaunts its colonial architecture with shuttered windows and a huge balcony overlooking the street. The entrance to Ray's apartment is quite intriguing. As you walk up the wooden stairs, you will be transported to a different time. The apartment is perched on the top floor that has the archetype of a high semicircle roof where the pillars are adorned with the framed images of Satyaji Ray serving as a memorabilia of his craft and legacy which has been carried forward by his son Sandeep Ray. Part of the larger complex, this is a private property owned by Tata Private Limited. Marked as a Grade 1 heritage property, you will find a stone plaque just outside the complex that renames the Bishop Lefroy Road as Shratajit Rai Dharodi. This residence is a testimony to the production of some of his greatest films like Shonar Killa, Shatranj Ke Khilari and Gona Shutru. But a fact that many don't know is how great a graphic artist he was. It's safe to admit that he may be India's first unofficial graphic designer which is seen explicitly through his movie posters that he designed himself. With a peculiar way of attracting the crowd to the synopsis of the movie through its detailed drawing has been achieved by no other director than Ray himself. As a tribute to the legendary filmmaker, the Bishop Lefroy Road is flanked with the posters of his movies, which are perched high on the British-style street lamps. Home to the brown-toned beautiful Calcutta mansion and the manor of 1923, the Bishop Lefroy Road is reminiscent of the heritage that Calcutta yet retains after almost 75 years of independence.